Hi guys, my name is Molly. I am a peer advisor for the Office of International Education and Development. I am so excited that you are interested in studying abroad. It is such a great experience. And today we are just kind of gonna go over some of the basics. Starting with where will you go? Students study abroad at more than 60 different countries in every given year. A few of our top countries are Spain, Italy, the United Kingdom, Japan, France. There are really only a few places that are considered off limits, anywhere that's an active danger zone, Greenland, Antarctica. So virtually we can send you anywhere in the world. Getting into types of programs, there are three main types of programs offered by Appalachian State University. The first of those is exchange programs, which is what many people think of when they think of studying abroad. Essentially, you are paying money to Appalachian State, but going to study at a university or school in another country. So under exchange programs, there are three different types. Full exchange programs allow students to pay App State tuition, room, and board. So whatever you pay for a certain period of time at App State, whether that be a summer session, semester, year, that is what you would pay for that same period of time abroad. Partial exchange programs allow students to pay out-of-state tuition and room, and basic exchange programs allow only out-of-state tuition, so the room and board costs are established by the abroad institution itself. Um, exchange programs may be the most affordable option for in-state students because you are paying that same tuition. The next type of program is affiliate programs. Affiliate programs are third-party providers that offer study abroad opportunities in a variety of countries. In affiliate programs, students pay tuition and program fees that are set by the individual program. So although you are considered an App State student during your time abroad, if you're participating in an affiliate program, you don't pay any money to Appalachian State. Um, affiliate program fees typically cover tuition and housing, but many programs also offer amenities like airport pickup, excursions, meals, that sort of thing within their program costs. So as affiliate programs fees vary, the tuition may be more or less what you would pay at App State for that period of time. So that might be the more affordable option for out of state students specifically. The last of the main types of programs is International Student Exchange Program or ICEP. And under ICEP, there are both exchange and direct programs. So direct would kind of be more like the affiliate where the cost is set by ICEP itself. So those are three main types of programs, but there are a couple other, starting with faculty-led. Um, faculty-led programs are shorter study abroad opportunities, typically taking place during winter, spring, fall, or summer breaks. Faculty-led programs allow you to travel with one or two App State faculty members and App State students to go abroad. Um, most departments offer faculty-led programs throughout the academic year, so if this is something that interests you, be on the lookout for faculty emails or flyers around your department's home building. Um, 70, over 70 faculty-led programs um, are facilitated each year. The next one is international student teaching, which is actually not handled by the Office of International Education and Development, so your applications must be submitted directly through the College of Education. And lastly, we have international internships. You have to fill out internship applications with your home department prior to submitting an application through the Office of International Education and Development. Your home department approves of all international internships. So where to start when considering how to choose your program? Number one is considering your priorities. Um, starting with the lang language of the country, are you learning a new language? Are there any second languages you already know? Are you hoping to go somewhere where English is commonly spoken? Also, the length of the program. What makes sense with your major? Higher level classes in specific majors um, get difficult to complete. So maybe do it earlier in your college career or do a summer program, that type of thing. Also, budgeting plays a large role. The cost of living, tuition, scholarships, which is something that we'll touch on later. And another big thing is housing. What type of housing are you hoping for? Apartment, dorms, did you want to do a homestay? That type of thing. Once you have an idea of what you are looking for, you can begin looking into specific programs. So after you watch this video, or if you've attended a Study Abroad 101 in person, the second step for most students is to connect with an education abroad advisor. Advisors can help walk you through the steps of finding a program that feels right for you and with the application process. So you can set up an appointment online for that at international.appstate.edu. And there are also walk-in advising hours every Wednesday from 2 to 4 p.m. in our office. 
Um, it is on the third floor of the student union. It is suite 321. Considering your academics, students in all majors can study abroad for degree credit. Um, but like I previously mentioned, higher level major specific courses may be difficult to take while abroad. So it is important to meet not only with education abroad advisors, but also to keep your personal academic advisor in the loop as well. Um, on our website, there is a way to sort programs by program academic strength if you're looking for something that's a little bit more tailored to your major specifically. And information about academic course equivalencies and the course approval process as a whole can be found on the Getting Credit tab of our website. Um, again, that is international.appstate.edu, or you can just Google um, Study Abroad App State. Reflecting on your identities also plays a large role in considering your program. Um, maybe you're wanting to connect to family roots, or are there parts of your identity that you should consider laws and attitudes surrounding? Um, your gender expression, race, sexual orientation, those types of things. Information regarding um, student identity resources can be found on our website. Another big thing is considering finances. I touched on this briefly um, while I was talking about budgeting, but consider the program costs, the cost of living, the currency exchange rates, those types of things. More information can be found on our website under the funding tab but we'll talk about that in a second. So funding your study abroad experience. Most financial aid can be used toward the cost of a study abroad program. Summer sessions work a little different in terms of financial aid. So overall, if you're planning on utilizing financial aid, consider um, scheduling a meeting with the financial aid office. The Office of International and Education, Office of International Education and Development, sorry, uh, also offers scholarships in three rounds each year. These scholarships typically range between $250 and $2,000, and you can apply and receive a scholarship before you have even applied to study abroad. There are also outside scholarships. Um, check your home department for scholarship opportunities and the individual program website of where you're studying abroad to see if there are opportunities that you can go ahead and apply for. So how to apply. <laughs> A list of all available programs can be found on our website and can also be accessed at appstate.via-trm.com. Um, once you've found a program that you're very interested in, you can click the Apply Now button on the individual program brochure page and log in with your App State credentials and submit all necessary application materials. Once submitted, applications will be reviewed and approved applications will receive an email with your next steps. Most study abroad opportunities will require a second step application to be submitted directly to the program that you're applying to. Um, and a 260 non-refundable charge will be placed on your AppleNet account. Um, like that says, it is a little bit more for faculty led. Um, and we'll get onto the next slide. These are the typical application deadlines for each application cycle. Um, they usually don't change, but check the application website just to be sure. Um, yeah. So come visit us. Like I said, we are located on the third floor of the Union in Suite 321. This is our email address, our website, and our phone number. And once again, our walk-in hours are every Wednesday from 2 to 4 p.m. So good luck with your study abroad journey. I wish you all the best and have a great time. Thank you.